Master Ken here with another Secret Street Fighting tip, once again here with John at Attitude First, and he is of course the active self-selection guy. Close, I mean active self-protection. Right, anyway, today we are working on gun grappling. We're working on situations in a ground fight where you might use a firearm. So what John is going to do is talk about how to use a weapon offensively in a ground fight, and then I will show you the proper defense. Okay, so if I have a gun out in the fight and we end up at this kind of distance, we don't see this kind of fight super often, but occasionally. Biggest thing I don't want to do here is, is as we get settled in, let's just say I'm settled in here and I'm kind of in a half guard or whatever, is if I float this gun out here, then he's going to take that gun. So if I'm going to use this offensively, I want to keep this nice and tight. What I would probably want to do here is keep this at what Craig Douglas would call a thumb pectoral index. So I can see here that the gun is close to me, very difficult to being taken away, and I can still point it accurately and still get effective hits. Good, okay, so let me tell you some problems with that, okay? One of the biggest things that we know about how firearms work is that as the bullet actually travels out of the gun, it moves faster, okay? So we don't want to give the bullet a chance to speed up. So in that situation, if I'm going to get shot, I want to get shot as close to the barrel as possible because that is when the bullet is moving slowest. So when he's firing that, I want to make sure to put my hand, okay, or a piece of my body on the weapon. So it is going to uh, perhaps stifle the speed of that bullet. I, I'm, I mean, but, but then you have a gunshot in your arm. Right, but it's not going to be as bad. If I get shot back here, that was a problem. Because I think of, think of how much that bullet is going to speed up from here to here. It just increases in velocity the further S it goes. Speed, speed up, Master Ken? Yeah. Are, are you sure about that? I'm not a bullet scientist, but I mean, I assume that just like the way gravity actually pulls something further and faster. You know, if you drop a penny off of the Empire State Building and it hits someone at the bottom, it could kill them because it just moves faster and faster, right? That's, that, that is how gravity works, but that's not how it works with bullets. Second thing to remember, if you are in a gunfight on the ground, is that a moving target is harder to hit than a stationary target. So I can easily work against him if he points the weapon and I just, I'm just keep, okay? Just keep moving, maybe even double fake, just. You especially want to keep a lot of head movement going, because that's a place you definitely don't want to get shot. So just. Try shooting me like this. It's virtually impossible. Third thing to remember in a gun grappling situation is to use what is called cover and concealment, okay? Cover means actually hiding behind something, and then concealment means something that you uh, can't shoot through, right? That, that's backwards. Exactly backwards. Explain. Cover stops bullets. Concealment just hides you from whoever's shooting at you. Kind of hard to do at this distance. So what you want to do is conceal their ability to see. So he points the gun at me. See that? Now he can't see me. I just move out of the way of the weapon. Okay. Just moving out of the way of the weapon. So concealing my location. Now, what you have to understand is not every gunshot is going to kill you. Getting shot in the arm, probably not going to kill you. Shot in the head, bad deal. So if you have to choose, okay, I'm going to use my arm as cover. Here. Now he can shoot me in the head through my arm. I have a much better chance of surviving, okay? Same with the leg, okay? If I just sort of put my leg up in the way, it, the bullet might go through my leg, but when it hits my head, it's just going to bounce right off. Chances are good it would have bounced off your head anyways. That's true. I do drink a lot of milk. That's another thing you can do to defend against headshots. Calcium. Take calcium tablets, uh, drink a lot of milk, lends itself to a hard head that can protect you from a bullet strike to the head, correct? So, now, putting all of these techniques together into one sequence. So, John points the weapon at me. First thing that I do is close the distance, putting my forearm against the barrel to slow the bullet down. Then covering his eyes so that he can't quite see, moving my head around violently, and then covering as he shoots through my arms and the bullets bounce off my head 
and then, of course, rest off that groin. Boom. I'm Master Ken. That was another Secret Street Fighting tip. Thanks for watching our video. Remember, you can order your own personalized video message from me, Master Ken, by going to Cameo. So whether it's a happy birthday, or you want me to tell you, or your instructor, why your martial art is total bullshit, go to Cameo and order your video message today. And remember, always restop that groin.